not sure exactly how to play it. Maybe you can do that a little more. Measure You're the one that taught me this, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do it. <laughs> 
You guys played that Friday. Play it again so I can hear it. Play it again so I can remember what it feels like. She played it that day. I was
You're not going to go through withdrawal. Well, I wondered. I wondered if you would. I don't know. Go through withdrawal. Withdrawal from. Not playing up there. Not playing up there. Okay. I don't know. I think it's kind of packing. Yeah, if you've been doing it that long. Yeah. So many of our crowd died off, and then they took the dance boards away last year. That created quite a crowd. That created a crowd. Can you tell them that real quick before we go to dance boards? Um, that did run. did rumble about it pretty bad. Now, why did you go for us? Um, liability, and the rangers hurt its back and whatnot. It's well, not liability really of public dancing, but... Um, no, the no it's uh, uh, the get the boards out boards from the field. Yeah, okay. They're heavy. That's why I wonder if you had four by fours or something smaller. We well, used was, to get them out ourselves, but then Melvin couldn't do it anymore. And, yeah. uh, I used to haul them out of uh, there on that wheel bar right when we see it. The old ones? Yeah. The big old ones? Yeah. I tried, to, I tried one evening, the blacksmith was hauling them, you know, by himself. Him and Mike. That ranger who does the cane yeah. here. And Mike was doing something else, and I was going to help the blacksmith. You know, just grab one end. Oh my God. I think that wheel bar. That wheel bar down in the building. And I put that thing across at least one of the handles. Put them across with I don't know, just one at a time. And, and rolling up on that wheel bar. Yeah, I can see that. But then um, uh, I said something about uh, when they quit bringing them up, I said maybe we can get some some of the audience to hail them and carry them out. They said the liability. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Can't get the public. I told them they need to just beat them out. Leave them out there and let them rock when they get bad. They could put a tarp over them to help some. That's when somebody can come along and stumble over them. Oh, gosh. Real liability there. Isn't this exciting? They got a nice little. It, it's four, it's like that. two foot square. But they like to get out there in a group. Oh, oh, oh. Well. That, that tears me up, and then they got that. The molasses, you know, the, the round thing with the big the log that sticks out. Uh, yeah, I thought it was hit right, myself. It's right, yeah, right oh, at yeah. forehead height. Oh, I know that. Everyone has donged their head into that. Thing. <laughs> I, I don't know anyone who hasn't hit, hit into that thing. And that's like, that's funny they say a liability. Yeah. I've seen people just. Just People just brain themselves, oh, you know, in the crowd, <laughs> walk right into it. But I've done it myself. Oh, yeah. I've enjoyed it. We started out there with Arnold's playing with uh, Fort Cranford. Uh -huh. And we played 12 years out there with him. And then uh, another 10 years with uh, Mount Ivy.
weekend in March. Okay. Then they three weeks. Yeah. A couple years ago, they moved to the first weekend in March before the equinox. I could deal with the equinox if I could just not have to get up in the dark. I mean, they moved in in October, too. To the, on the other end? Yeah. But they pushed it into November, I think. That was what Let's see. Because well, September's when the equinox. Yeah, so September it's, 21st. It's, it's been after. Right. It's been after that. So it ain't even, it's not even symmetrical what they're doing. Because well, yeah. they got it in November now. That would be equivalent to us. Well, yeah. You heard Ralph Upperson's story about the old farmer down in Ararat. Virginia, he had to go to, he had, Virginia adopted daylight savings and North Carolina did. So this fella had to go from Ararat, Virginia to Raleigh for some reason and he didn't want to take the time. Somebody said this was back in the 40s. He said, go to the airport, you can fly. And it's real short and be there and back in the day, no problem. So he goes to the Air, 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 airport dancer. He goes to the Ararat airport and says, uh, y'all have airplanes fly to Raleigh. I said, yeah. He says, well, well, what time's you leaving? I said, well, I said, we got one leaving in the morning at 7.03. He says, well, now what time's you get to Raleigh? He says, Raleigh at 7.10. Will I take it? He says, no, I don't think so. But I want to see that thing take off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say at New York, fly to California at 600 miles an hour, uh, regular all the way through. You can get there at the same time as you live. <laughs> yeah. uh, the time change. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess some flights they're short. You could get there before you left. <laughs> yeah. You go across the tunnel. How's your fiddle do through the winter? It's a little squeaky. Y'all have wood heat? Yeah. No, we have um, a heat pump. A heat pump? Okay, so it ain't as dry. It's dry, but it's squeezing my head off all my ears. Oh, yeah, I bet. Well, how do you, does your fiddle do all right? It does, it's it's does it, harsh. Does it pick, does it, does it sometimes the strings, the pegs are small? Yeah, sometimes we have a hard time getting the pegs to stay in. Yeah. But they did stay in, but it sounds harsh. Yeah. yeah but, it's really hard. But you know, I had a, when I was playing the guitar with Arnold, the guitar would dry out in the winter and sound a whole lot better. Yeah. And the fiddle would sound worse. Right. Right. It's funny how it is. Yeah, the guitar sounds good. Uh, what I do with my fiddles is I tune them down. Uh, so one's, uh, one's one note. Because I get to play the G tunes playing in F, oh. and they sound pretty neat. Nice. Right. Yeah, it's a G playing. fingering, but but they're B and F. Yeah. When I played with Arnold, he tuned his fiddle to Fred's low all the time. When he's when he's playing in, in, uh, in A, when he's playing in A position, he was in G. In G, yeah. Yeah, and when he's playing in the G position, I was in there. Yeah. And I, I just crossed the yeah. cross to my uh, banjo where I could play in that chord. Yeah. Actually, it'd be the sound the same as this. 